the Formula Student Competition is an international design challenge, essentially. Teams from all over the world compete to build a single-seater race car. Over 130 teams compete at Silverstone. It's probably the biggest competition there is in the UK or probably in, in the world for engineering students at universities. It's one of the biggest events in the engineering calendar. This is my master's project, so this is my fourth year thesis, if you will, and I think there is no cooler thesis to write than how to build a race car. Last year's team made the decision to initially go electric. Because the future isn't petrol powered cars anymore, the future is going electric so it's a great experience for everyone. We're obviously trying to move with the times and stay modern uh, and it's not something that every team can do and it takes a lot of skill but we're trying to show that Lancaster University has that skill. This year our number one overarching goal is just simplicity. We want everything to be as simple as it can be so there's less to go wrong. Simplicity is probably yeah, the, is the main design aim of this year. They tried a lot last year like big complicated aerodynamics and all sorts of, sort of cool things like wheel speed sensors, suspension sensors and we've really tried to simplify it down, the bare minimum, what do we need to get a car rolling? It's been trimming the fat, looking at stuff, is it 100% necessary? If not, it's not a priority. Really, it's just about seeing that electric vehicle move and not only move, but to actually compete against these teams and really show everyone else that we've been competing against for years that we are a team to be worried about and that we could actually take this title. Our, our aim is to be the first UK electric team to finish the endurance event and I think we've got a very good chance of that. Our battery is very efficient, very streamlined. The weight of the overall car is light, it's less than 200 kilos. We're aiming for a 0 to 60 time of around two and a half seconds. It's, it's really going to move as it gets going. <laughs> My goals in the car would be to definitely see it, run, see it running. If the things I've designed work properly, then I'll be over the moon because that means I've, sort of, I've done something right, I guess. I think the main aim is just to get a working car because that would be a huge step forward for, for Lancaster Racing to have a, an electric car. I think it's quite an iconic project <laughs> for, the, for the department. I mean, we've, we've had a team since the first years that it ran. And especially when you come to Lancaster, especially into the engineering building, you're walking through the front door and on the right is this engineering lab of the former student lab. For my final year project to be able to design and build a race car, and get a degree out of it. I don't think it gets much better than that, really. There's no other. There's no other project in the department, really, where you have the same sort of scale in terms of practical hands-on experience for most students. Just one paragraph. It's it's a fantastic opportunity. You get you get to build a race car, compete against other universities. Suddenly, everything that you've done through school and university suddenly slots together, and you realise that you can build something incredibly complicated like a car. You're part of something bigger than just a university. You're going, you're going to Silverstone to compete and potentially win on the world stage. Really. I mean, we've, we've put the work in and it's, it's going to work. It's going to work well. <laughs>